Hi everyone, welcome to the 29th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we will learn about probability mass function. So what is PMF or probability mass function? Well, probability mass function statistics is a function that gives the probability that a discrete random variable is exactly equal to some value. The probability mass function is often the primary means of defining a discrete probability distribution. So what does it mean? It means that the number which is distributed across a distribution, it will have a probability value for each of the number. And how do we achieve this through the Python code? So let us assume like we have our list with us. Okay. And before that, we need to uh, import the pandas and the matplotly because we, we will also display it uh, in terms of the histogram or the bar plot. So we'll execute this. Now, what is our list one? It will contain a normal list. So now we need to create a, a data frame first. So we'll create df is equal to pd dot data frame list one. Now what is the content of df? The same thing. Now we need to get the value count of each and every number. So what we will do df is equals to d, df1 is equals to df0 dot value underscore counts. Now what is the value of this df1? So you can see number 2 is repeated 11 times, 5 is repeated 9 times uh, and so on. 3, 8, 6 is repeated 5 times, 4 is repeated 2 times and 1 is repeated twice. What we will do, we need to sum up all the number and then divide this 2 is repeated 11 times, right? So 11 by 11 divided by the sum of all this number. So what is the sum of all this number? So we will give suppose someone is equals to length of length of df so what is the value of someone 37 okay now now we need to create a, a pandas because this 2 5 3 what is the type of df1 first type of df1 it is a pandas series it's not a pandas data frame so we need to create one data frame and we'll give the uh, uh, take the separate values okay so df2 is equals to pd dot data frame and then we'll pass df1 so what is the content of df2 now okay now we have this 0 11 9 okay this is my first column so what we will do we'll rename this column as df2 is equal to df2 dot rename and then columns equals to this is the zeroth column okay zeroth column and what we'll do will be we'll replace this column name with uh, what is this item counts right item underscore counts and we'll execute this and ideally we should give here as okay so the column name is changed right now what we'll do we'll add a new column df2 of item what are the items two three four all this so this is nothing but the index of this data frame df2 dot index now if we execute so we have got the item counts and the item as well. Now what we need to do, we need to divide this each element and get the probability of each uh, each items, right? We have for that what we have to do is df2 probability pro t is equals to df2 of item underscore counts divided by sum. Okay, this should be like df2. So now what is the content of df2? So we have we have all the numbers for the item 2 which is repeated 11 times. The probability is 0 0.29729 and for the item which is like 5, the probability is 9 which is, repeat, uh, which is repeated 9 times, the probability is 0.24. Now if we want to plot the bar graph, in that case we have already uh, created the PLT object of matplotlib. For that we have to give plt dot bar. In that case, we have to pass two items: the item, item two five, this column. So df two item comma df two probability here, and we have to give plt dot show. We execute this, so we can see the probability mass distribution of each and every number. Like the the maximum number, the number which is repeated most is two, which is eleven times, which so for it, for this number, the bar graph is like quite higher. After that, the most number, the number which is executed most number of times is five. So for that, it is nine times. And for similarly for the rest of the item. Also, if you want to change the color, like 
color equals to red suppose so you can see you can play with the color and get the desired uh, result whatever you want so in this way we can achieve the probability mass distribution of the uh, different number spread across the distribution so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please comment and press the like button and also subscribe to this channel also if you want me to cover any other topic please post in the comment section thank you